Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will go through the configuration of flow control. The learning objective is to learn how the flow works and learn how to use the control group of actions to direct and manipulate the flow. There are four actions to take note of Comment, Label, Go to, Run subflow, and lastly on block error. So let's go through the comment. Comment facilitate flow design, allow user to make notes and explain the logic of a set of actions. This action is recommended if you are designing a complicated flow, so that the next developer or user able to understand before going through the sets of flow. Okay, moving forward to the label. We can control the flow by creating a label. A label acts the destination of a go to statement. Okay, so by using the go to action, this will transfer the flow execution to another point indicated by a label. So you have to select which label that you have created. Okay, so let's create one example. So in this example, let's create a multiple label of 1, 2, and 3. Okay, let's display a message for each label 1, label 2, and label 3. Okay, so now let's make use of the go to action to see how the bot behave. So now I've put it from the start. I would like it to go through straight away to label 3. So when I click save and I run the flow, this is a label 3. However, if I were to select this as label 2 it will prompt to it will prompt as this is label 2 after that as the flows continue it will display this is a label 3 so this is how you can make use of the label and go to action moving forward to the run subflow This action allows you to execute an existing flow. When the subflow completes, the flow continues with the next action. Okay, so let's show one example. For now, I do not have any subflow. So let's create one subflow. Okay, I navigate back to my main, select run subflow, and you select subflow 1 and click save. So after this step, if you were to run the flow, it will execute this subflow 1, after that it will continue the next. Okay, so now in moving forward, how can we stop a subflow? Okay. By doing this, we can use the exit subflow or you can use the stop flow. Okay, so what are the differences between these two? 
to stop the subflow and go back to the point where it was run from, you can use the exit subflow action. If you want to stop running the entire flow, use the stop flow action. Okay, that's all for the run subflow. Let me delete this. I have created a flow where the robot asks the user whether they would like to store a list of fruits into text file. If the user selects no, it should end the flow using the label. Otherwise, continue the flow by creating a list of fruits and write it to text file. As you can see here, the display message here only have an option of yes or no. And then, I check if the button press contains no, ignore case. If it's true, it will go to the label end of flow. Else, it will continue to create a new list, add strawberry, mango, banana and apple into this list and write a text file of this list into my directory in the desktop folder. Okay, so let's try to run this flow. Would you like to store a list of fruits and write it to text file? Yes. I've selected yes and this is the list of fruits. So let me go to my desktop folder. I have list of fruits. Strawberry, banana, mango and apple. So if I were to close this, let's try one more where I delete this list of fruit and then I run again and I select no it immediately end the flow if the list is empty okay so in this case how can we improve this flow we can actually copy this out or you can use the cut create a new subflow write text form and then you paste it here and you save in your main workflow you use a run subflow action and select write text form so this actually helps you to categorize different sets of actions into a categorized subflow this will make your flows look more neater so if you were to run this flow you will behave exactly the same okay lastly on block error this is an error handling action it will help to control your flow not to stop the process. You can choose to set a new variable or run another subflow or throw an error. Let's create one example. First, I would like to drag an on block error and I need to give a name. Try write text form. Save. Let's create a new variable and name it as file name with a value of dash and I would like to use a write text file with the file path of file name the text to write hello a penny line no and I click C so in this example, if I were to run the flow, it will throw me an error message saying that invalid directory is specified. Okay, so how can we handle this exception in such that we do not encounter any of these error messages? In this case, we can make use of this continue flow to run and we can create a new rule by creating a variable error message and then we indicate invalid direct 
directory specified so if I were to run this I'll have an error message invalid directory specified the downside of this activity we are not able to get the exact error message to continue the flow so in this case we cannot make use of this on block error because there are certain actions that actually have this on block error action with this example we can delete this flow inside this write text to file there's a on error option and then you can actually indicate your own new sets of rules here by selecting the advanced field to write to text file you can create a variable here and indicate your own error message field to write text to file and then of course we would like to continue the flow to run go to the next section likewise for the invalid directory for file once I click save and then if I were to run this flow it behaves exactly the same so it depends on your process whether would you like to use the on block error or you can actually make use of each action exception handling but this is limited not all actions provide this on error option that's all for today module so if you're keen to learn more do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on microsoft power automate desktop thank you